I love being underwater and I love seeing new things that I haven't seen before and I love sorting out what's going on. The reef behind me is beautiful. Most people sort of go, oh, it's a beautiful thing, it's so wonderful, and stop there. I'm always wondering about who eats who, what goes on, um, you know, the intricacies of the ecology and evolution of that. Coral reefs are one of the most diverse ecosystems on Earth, and over the last 30 to 40 years, we've lost about 80% of all the corals in the Caribbean and about 50% throughout the entire Indo-Pacific. So worldwide, coral reefs are sort of converting from these really topographically complex ecosystems to sort of algal-covered parking lots. What we're trying to do is, is understand enough of the pieces and parts and how they work so that we can work with local villagers and say, we know you need to fish, we know you need food, but if you fish for these fish, the reef will be okay. If you fish for these fish, it won't. I really have Georgia Tech's largest lab because it, it is the world. We try not to, to extract things from nature and say what would go on if these two species were interacting, but we try to do it in nature so that we know it actually works there. We spend huge amount of times underwater, much, much more so than most scientists do. In other words, we're, we're not the guys in the white coats and the rubber gloves walking around a clean lab. We're wearing a wetsuit and we're up to our neck in, in mud or water or something all day long. We're trying to learn through the chemical signaling on the reef, how to go in and tweak it uh, to start beneficial recovery of the reefs as opposed to continued demise. There's more exploration going on right now than has ever gone on before. The, the amount of information we're gathering, which to me is exploration, finding out new things about the world, um, is tremendous. Something like 80% of all the scientific papers ever produced in the history of the world have been in the last 20 years. I think this is the time of maximal exploration. It's, it's not that it's used up. It may not be geographic on Earth, but in terms of information and understanding and insight, uh, there's more discovery today than there ever has been.